Hello YouTube and welcome to Achievement Diaries. Today we are doing Beginner for Thumbbridge. What you can do to get to where your Achievement Diary list is, is it's the quest list. Swap to Achievement and here we go. This, all of these have everything you are going to, all the info you're going to need to, in order to complete them. Lumbridge in Draenor is available for free to play as well as members. What we can do to begin this doo -doo 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 -doo, is either speak to Bob right here, speak to Explorer Jack right here, or speak to some other guy right here. And that is how you are going to begin be able to do this. You will not be able to begin your achievement unless you talk to one of them. The way I'm going to be doing this is show you how to get around by walking, assuming that there are some people that do not like magic that are going to be doing this and cannot teleport. For beginner, you are no skills are required, but you are going to have needed to have completed the Restless Coast. You're going to need any pickaxe, small fishing net, bucket of water, a pot, as well as maybe wheat, and 20 gold if you have not completed the Prince Alley Rescue. Where you can acquire wheat, oh, never mind, is either this field right here or this field right here. I believe this can be done during this. I'm going to show you the easiest route to do for easy now. So the first one we need to do is climb to the highest point in Lumbridge. For the record, my mini-map is always facing north, so just to give you an idea. But yeah, follow me. On the north part of the bank, you're going to notice a ladder. Climb up the ladder and you have finished one. Next is to raise the flag on the roof. You see this? Just raise it. Next is to speak to the Duke of Lumbridge, who is on the second floor. Right here. And see Duke? Just talk to him. That's all you gotta do. There you go, there's the first three done. Next, I guess, is look through Father Eric's selection of gravestones. This is where you must have completed the Restless Ghost. And we need to go to the church. Can you change my gravestone now? And just by doing this, you have completed it. Next, play the organ. Next is ring the bell in Lumbridge Church, so... And ring it and confuse the citizens of Lumbridge. This is where you can right click and on the gate and pay toll or if you've completed you can just walk right on through. And there's that part completed. Find the Doomsayer and talk to him about the warning system. Next, find the Lumbridge Guide and speak to him about the Stronghold of Security.
but for the general store, just head to the general store, trade either the shop assistant or someone else, and there you go. That one's done. Next, we need to go visit Fred the Farmer's Chicken and Sheep Farm. Well, there we go. Walk in, and that's done. Next is to grind some flour in the windmill north of Lumbridge. So, let's go pick some wheat here. Go to the top floor. Add your grain to the hopper and operate the hopper controls. Go down. Use your pot with a flour bin. And there you go, that one completed. Next, we need to go mine some clay in the mining patch north of the Champions Guild. Where that is, is this right here. So I guess let's head over there. ones they're going to be the cream colored ones and mine so make some soft clay in barbarian village where we're going to want to go is right here Just by chance, if like me, you brought an empty bucket, we can fill up our bucket at the Verox City Square. So I'm going to go do that. So if you already have a bucket of water, don't follow me to this part. Suggestively, we go just to the hole right here. Easiest spot. Use your bucket of water on the clay. Make soft clay. Just south of here, let's make a pot on the potter's wheel. So use it on the potter's wheel and choose to make a pot. Fire it in the pottery oven right here. Next, go south to drain our mansion. Just head through the gates until the congratulations this part complete pops up in your chat box. You may have to walk almost all the way up to the doors, I can't remember. Next, let's go to the Drainer Village Market, which is just southwest.
pretty much will walk here and you're done. Next we need to go talk to the town crier about the rules of conduct. Next we need to go all the way south of here to the wizard's tower to climb to the top of it. Next, there's a spot to the southeast of Lumbridge Swamp. We're going to need to go there. Where it is, is right here. The copper is this kind of brownish rock. Mine it. And that, that one's done. Next we need to catch some shrimp. So, use our net with the fishing spot. There you go, shrimps. Next we need to work for the fishing tutor. Ask for a job. And there you go. And accept the task. And that one's done. And this covers all of them. Next, we need to go to Explore Jack. Talk to him about Achievement Diary, like you did to begin this. Claim the reward. And he will give you... Obviously he's not giving it to me because I've already finished it, but he will give you an Explorer's Ring 1. Obviously not the 3 that you see on mine, because I've done it. The Explorer's Wing 1 will give you a plus 1 to magic attack and prayer bonuses. It also replenishes 50% run energy once a day. You see? Right click, run replenish. He will also give you an experience lap that will give you 500 XP to any skill you have. That's all. Enjoy your rewards for now and I will hopefully see you for easy. Bye bye. Ah yes, one other thing I forgot to mention is he will also give you an emote. Let's whip around and show this, huh? The emote is the explorer mode. And this is it. Okay, now that's all. Have fun. Bye-bye.